Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I've got the big pleasure and great honor to advertise you my top 20 of all time fave albums. Okay, let's begin. Well, humble as I am, I start uh, with one of my own bands, Oomph. Here's our current album, Ritual. You know, um, I'm not only the singer of Die Kreatur, I'm also singer of Oomph, so yeah, well, um, it's for sure to, to also show you this album of my other band. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> so, um, the next one is Nine Inch Nails. The Downward Spiral, a groundbreaking album for me and my own career. Well, it's just amazing how Trent Reznor experiments with sounds and the stereo width and it's just amazing, you know, the combination of guitars and completely strange instruments and his voice and his whistles and things that he does, it's, it's just amazing, still. So, the next one is Toxicity, System of a Down, Toxicity. Yeah, well, I just like them, you know, they're so strange and unique and um, their combination of traditional Asian folk music and hard rock and metal is just awesome to me, you know. And the second voice, uh, often enough there's this second voice and, and this harmony of two voices um, which really kicks ass, if you ask me. And the, of course the, the, the tempi changes. Great, 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 great. So next one. Deutsch-Amerikanische Freundschaft, Duff. Their debut album with the famous song um, Der Mussolini. Just great stuff. I mean, ahead of their time. Light years ahead of their time. Electronical minimalism at its best. So next one, typo negative, bloody kisses. What else can I say? This album is kick killer. I mean, it's just killer. It's one of the best albums in rock metal that I can mention. You know, it's just amazing how um, Cool, his dark and deep voice matches with the songs, with the lyrics, and um, the whole album is constructed like a opera, you know, with this uh, always returning themes, and um, it's just great. I love, I love this band. Fortunately, Pete Steele died too early, if you ask me. A great and and cool guy, nice guy, and um, this album will always remain one of my favorite albums ever. So, next one. Danzig. Debut. Well, it's just awesome. You know, hard rock uh, or Black Sabbath, hard rock metal meets uh, The Doors and Elvis a bit. So yeah. I, you know, I grew up with this kind of music and it influenced me a lot, you know. Um, the, the power and the strength. I'm a singer, I'm a vocalist, so I like uh, Glenn Danzig's voice very much. And that's certainly one reason why it's still in my top 20. Next one. Nitzer App. Showtime. Yeah, Nitzer App influenced me a lot. They, they had a huge impact on my own development as a musician and I still love this album. I mean, it's danceable industrial at its best and I, I, I just love the voice and the energy and the enthusiasm of Douglas McCarthy's voice. Next one. Disturbed, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, the debut album of Disturbed 
is still amazing, you know. The energy and, and the groove metal aspects are just killer, you know, and, and his voice is so tight, you know, and he's able to just perform brilliantly, if you ask me, and he has, he's got a wide range also, and this amazes me too. Next one, Prong, Cleansing cool album pretty danceable groundbreaking also because they combined um, heavy riffs with uh, the straight four four rhythms and um, at that point of time it just was stunning you know each club uh, that was into metal and hard rock just had Prong on his set list, on its set list, especially snap your fingers, snap your neck, of course. So next one, um, Prodigy, the fat of the land. Well, what can I say, Prodigy? Pioneers, uh, like electronic punks, whatever. Um, Keith Flint also died way too soon. Rest in peace. Yeah, but still, still awesome. I love Prodigy, especially this album, because it contains many punk aspects and distorted guitars and distorted synths and well, a huge amount of cool grooves. Next one. Oh, wow. In Fast, Papa Roach. Yeah, that was just an awesome album, you know. Um, straight in your face and you know just full of full of life you know and full of anger and rage and I love that you know because um, that's what uh, music should be about emotions you know next one corn issues yeah what what can you say to corn I mean they're they're a pioneers themselves and I just uh, loved uh, their special sound from the beginning, you know. I started with their debut album as an import, I remember it was 1996 or 7, whatever. And, um, well, just this slapping bass and, and these ping snare drum and his, well, really touching lyrics and this very special and unique voice of Jonathan Davis. I mean, the combination is just awesome, if you ask me. And it's, it, it was new for me, completely new to listen to that kind of combination. It was awesome. And it still is. I really like to play songs from this album um, when I'm DJing from time to time, especially, of course, Falling Away From Me. For example, this is one of my favorites. And um, well, what else? Yeah, of course. Um, hey, Daddy. And yeah, well, there's just far too many good songs coming from Corn still. So, next one. Some girl wanted by mistake. The Sisters of Mercy. Well, <laughs> what can you say about a Sisters of Mercy? I mean, they're they, they used to be developers of a complete new dimension of sound and music, you know, drum machines meet dark lyrics and voice and, um, well, just that certain morbid melancholy dark but and sad um, appeal I just love them still of course Temple of Love still cult isn't it Blur best off yeah Blur still awesome to listen to them and um, song 2 one of the greatest songs ever written 
in my eyes. Um, so Gorilla is also awesome. This other project or band from parts of Blur. Um, cool. I just still love them. They're, they're uh, anarchistic approach on music cool and great songwriters of course chemical brothers yeah surrender um, yeah I, I'm playing hey boy hey girl always when I'm um, DJing because it's still awesome I mean I, I just still freak out myself while turning the desks when I'm DJing. So, of course, Kraftwerk, Mensch Maschine. Wir sind die Roboter. Dong, 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 dong. The pioneers of techno, industrial, danceable, cool music, whatever. Kraftwerk. Also, light years ahead of their time. Nirvana, of course, never mind. Yeah, first time I was listening to Nirvana uh, was their album Bleach, right. But uh, still I think um, on Nevermind are the greatest songs. Um, and the production of course is still awesome. And one of the best albums still in my collection. Pantera, Vulga Display of Power. Well, this album is also groundbreaking to me. Um, simple riffs, but cool riffs. Um, the drumming also really uh, groovy. And um, of course, Phil Anselmo's voice beats it all. He just... Uh, screams and growls the shit out of his soul and still love this album Depeche Mode Violator as a kid of the 80s I of course also grew up with Depeche Mode and other uh, synth bands like Soft Cell or Human League so I, I was always a huge fan of Depeche Mode I, I was uh, watching them live when I was a teenager a couple of times so yeah Dave Gaunt still one of the greatest vocalists with his baritone uh, voice and Martin Gore an awesome songwriter and himself also a great singer so last one Machine Head Burn My Eyes well the drumming of Davidian, what can I say? It's just one of the best songs and in metal, if you ask me, or new metal, whatever you want to call it. And this album is, is still awesome. I, I love this debut album from Machine Head, and I'm glad to hear that they're back on tour with, uh, with the original lineup and this album. Cool. So thank you very much indeed, people. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay safe. See you. Bye-bye. Dero. -bye.